to the Kardashians. I've been watching Kim and Courtney take New York or whatever the fuck it's called. They gave me some life last night. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, when Chloe and Courtney were in the car with Baby Mason and they were talking about how Kim married a barking dog. Yes, girl, you hit it right on the head. I was howling when they fucking said that shit because it's the truth. It's like, you know what, Kim, you dated a real simple ass man. You dated a man where two plus two probably equals fucking jello, girl. And I'm not mad at you. Like, you know, you claim that you loved him and all this and that. But, you know, as more and more things come out and the more I see you interact with him, like, really, bitch, y'all was married for two weeks and then he just fucking left because he couldn't handle the environment. First, Kim, I just want to tell you right now. I realize that the producers have you and uh, Miss Courtney living together, but bitch, that was not an ideal situation. And True T, if you wanted your marriage to last, you would have been had a new fucking apartment. You really would have done that. As soon as your man was like, baby, I'm not gonna be able to do this with Mason playing with his wooden toys and shit all out in front of the fucking door while we're sleeping, I'm not gonna be able to do it. She should have been like, you know what, Garcon, let's get a motherfucking uh, new suite. Sorry, Courtney, I'll visit. Good day. Because really, you know, they're acting like in that hotel they don't have another fucking suite where the two of them could go and Courtney, Scott, and Mason could have the whole uh, double suite or even downgrade. It probably saved them all money, to be real, if they live on their own. But, you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. But, I mean, like, it would just seem like common sense. You know, if I were to get married and move in with my little baby brother, that seems kind of dumb to me. You know, my baby brother and his kid and his wife. Why would I want to put myself in that position when I'm just getting married? If we could really speak on it, Courtney, boo, if you don't want to be with Scott, girl, no one is telling you to be with Scott, but we're just asking that you turn his ass loose if you don't want him because, truth he, you put all these fucking leashes and shit on Scott and he is really just trying to obey. He is really trying to obey, but, you know, you're like, now you're taking it too far, Miss Courtney. To be real, Chloe seems like she's the smartest motherfucker of all y'all because she knew right the fuck as soon as Scott's mom came the fuck out and was looking at all her shit in the yard. You know she was mad as fuck. She was just like, really, Courtney? Bitch. Throwing my fucking chest at and shit. Don't even care. You see this bitch blowing up my motherfucking Gmail chat, girl? Yes, it's serious. What's the tea? I'm painting my nails this raggedy ass fucking orange color. I don't know if you could say. But I'm, I wanted to match my earrings. Yes. But yeah. And then like as if. And see Chloe was like. Mm -mm, let me fucking bounce. Talking about something. She got an appearance in the city. Yeah bitch. She got an appearance to get the fuck away from Courtney's crazy ass. Because Courtney was acting a damn fool. Every time I go over to my uh, mother and father-in-law's house. I organize their stuff and by organize I mean throw their shit the fuck out because I'm rich and I can just buy them new stuff you know what though Chloe your relationship y'all like for real Chloe and Lamar look happy as fuck I'll say that I think Chloe and Lamar look like just the most happiest couple they just look like they're always having a ball and that's what you should be looking like in a, in a good relationship you should be having a ball. Don't get me wrong. They obviously fight. They obviously fight. But they always genuinely look like they're happy to be with each other. Whereas Kim and uh, and Chris, I just see them always being like, is this what it's like to be married? Like, there's some fucking aliens and shit. Yes, bitch. It's boring. Like, like don't y'all know that? Like, I don't know what the fuck people think. What the fuck they think marriage is. Marriage means this one motherfucker for the rest of the motherfucking shit. Okay? And maybe y'all have some kids, but they're just going to break some shit. And eat up all your shit. And when you're done with them, if that experience didn't bring y'all closer, y'all sure as the fuck divorced. Okay? That's just what it is nowadays. Okay? And that's what people see marriage what people see marriage as. But with uh Chloe and Lamar, I just see them having a ball and knowing when to laugh and when to just sit the fuck back and just let the other one act the damn fool. And that's what you gotta do. So yeah. Uh, I definitely I think the show is funny. I think um, you know, Kim is just like she's delusional it seems to me because I you know like I understand fighting with him but like not really because you know Kim if Kim really wanted that relationship to work that bitch would have would have been with the fucking Minnesota like nobody would have nobody has to tell you to go visit your husband if your husband and you are living in a home life where you're sharing a dwelling with a whole family. You sharing your dwelling with a three-person family. 
your new ass relationship. Okay, y'all have not even been together one full year. Y'all didn't even get married for a fucking year. Y'all didn't even know each other for a fucking year. So it's just funny to me how people just get married and they just be having all these crazy, like, ugh. Kim, you did not plan to fail. You failed to plan. That really, that really just happened to you. You just failed to plan. And that's why you failed, okay? Because there was no plan. You decided, you and the producers of you decided you're going to go live with Courtney. And Courtney's obviously a fucking tough ass pill to swallow. You know, just the fact that I know that Courtney goes to her mother-in-law's house and fucking throws away her stuff. I can't imagine what it's like to live with her. And the fact that Scott put her on blast when they went on a new date, I thought that was kind of crazy. I'm just like, Scott, you wonder why y'all, your relationship is fucked up. It's because of shit like this. It's like, Scott be trying, trying, trying. And then finally, when, when he gets some headway, when he finally gets some intimacy from Courtney, he fucks it up. Oh, did you hear? Um, my mom is so mad because Courtney threw away all her stuff. You think that's, that's good uh, conversation for a fucking date, bitch? Really? Scott, get it together. Get us the fuck together. For the men out there who are in relationships with women that don't give a fuck about them and they think about strain, you know what? Tell me, bitch. I tried, okay? And this shit is just not going to work. All right? Scott, get your ass fucking uh, joint custody and take that motherfucker with you, okay? It don't make no sense to me. You are not a bad parent. You're not a bad father. I think you're just so obsessed with Courtney that you don't understand that this bitch has transitioned into mom mode. And, like, more than mom mode, this bitch is a smothering ass overbearing mother, so that's why she's sleeping with Mason and, and making Mason the excuse for why y'all ain't sleeping together. So, you know, you really need to get it together because most people who have kids, they can't wait to get alone and finally come together with their significant other. You know, the, the child is not supposed to get in the way of your relationship and your intimacy, especially at that age. He's big enough to have his own motherfucking room. Y'all got two rooms downstairs and Scott, you sleeping by yourself? Mm-mm. You forgot the game.